Do you know or aware that there are people already being sued and or fined hundreds of thousand pounds for violating their privacy? Those are using Ring video doorbell. Keep on watching and I will explain you how you can save yourself from that trap at the end of the video. So let's get started. Assalamu alaikum my friend, hope you are all well and safe by the grace of Allah Ta'ala. Those who are new to my channel, welcome, and those who are returning, welcome back. In my previous video, I mentioned that I was given a Ring video doorbell, second generation, by the social services due to my health, so I can respond anyone at the door from anywhere within the house or out and, out and about or say at, at the back garden. I've been using that for a while and learned various settings and information that I thought why not I share my experience with you. So if you already got one of these video doorbell and would like to know how, how and what to do, buckle your seatbelt my friend and enjoy the ride. Oh well this bit tutorial. Disclaimer, as last time I told you that I'm not affiliated or asked by Ring or Amazon to do this video. Anything I will say are those I learned so far from the experience using the product for a while. Therefore, let's jump into the tutorial, shall we? Oh, by the way, if you are already been using Ring product, you would find this very easy, how to add a device. But those are new, grab the app from the whatever the store you're using, Apple or Play, on your choice or the, how you get them. Once you got the app, register with the ring, and then in your app, open the dashboard, unless it's not open already. So once you are on the uh, dashboard, uh, just click on the left-hand corner on the uh, dashboard you will find three line dotted or three line and on that you can open say it's all normally on the top right hand corner of your dashboard I'm sure you can see it on that you can see that you know if you haven't registered before it will be blank but if, because I have registered so it's telling where I am but um, it'll be few many there oh handful of them and uh, one of them is saying devices, other one is a set up, set up a device. So I would go for a device. So on here, you can see if how many, if you have any devices already been installed. So either you can see from the set up a device or click the uh, plus sign on the right hand side of the uh, right hand side of your um, screen. <laughs> Okay, so here you go. Now when you go get there, there's a choice. The first one you'll see, hopefully it's everybody the same, doorbells. Just click on the doorbell, then you have to give the access to your uh, camera because you need to scan the, you need to scan the barcode from the back of your, uh, what do you call the doorbell itself, which is at the bottom and here, or you can get it from the box from here. So anyway, I'll scan this one directly from that. So now I got it and it says where I am because I already registered, but if you haven't, you can just said add a new location. Um, so anyway, I go for continue. And it will ask you that if I, if you got the screw and everything. Um, so go for the okay, follow the instruction as it says. So yeah whatever it says on the screen, it'll ask you for simple questions. Uh, continue, now you can choose what the name you want to give your doorbell. It's uh, like in my... In I normally give that, that uh, front video doorbell. Done, and you said continue. Once you continue, and you'll ask if the light is flashing. Is the light flashing? If it doesn't, there's a button there, orange color. You press that. Your ring device is in setup mode. So it's on setup mode. So now it's, re you know, it's circling. So you put it, put it down. All you have to do is, there's light spinning. You said that light spinning. 
it will ask you to join your Wi-Fi because you have to give the access to them so that it actually do make a network which you need to work on when you go anywhere outside the house or wherever you are. So it's connecting now to the Ring doorbell. Did we had that well so many times? Setup was successful. There you go. Now You're it's ready. connected. You're always home. So your ring device is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. With Ring, you're always home. So um, let me just quickly take a quick break because what I'll do, I'll quickly go up on the front door, install that so that we can continue it will be because then it will be easier to show you what i want to do just bear me a minute i'll be back so now it's all connected uh everything up and running uh on here because it's a start tutorial i don't need it because i already installed it and share the device you can share your device uh, which is you can also have a setting you can do it now or you can do it later on uh, it depends so i'll just skip it for now so we get to the point and uh, is the young product work even better in a team uh, which is if you have any other devices as i said you can connect that one in, in a bit as well so i'm skip that one and exit chime alert visitor arrive we don't have chime so i'm not gonna if you have it you can connect it to this this point um, so i'm skipping that one as well optimize motion which i'm gonna show you in a second and then i'm done once i'm done straight away you will see your uh, front view now on your device and uh, as you can see there is a gear wheel at the top right hand corner which is you click that and that's all your menu right you got event history mode schedule uh, setting link devices motion so the main ones the main one all the other ones is self-explanatory so you probably will find that go through very quickly i don't have to say it power setting and all sorts of things let's get to the setting uh, on the bottom of it you can see it says device setting so go to the device setting once it's there on the top one it said video setting i normally leave the live view because sometimes you want to check it you can do it but that if you keep doing it all the time that will run the battery down um, tap camera preview for live view that is you don't need it because every time you do it automatically as soon as you tap the camera it will go on live you don't need that uh, and also video recording time this one you can put it on whatever the 120 seconds really i don't really think so i'll put it on 20 30 seconds maximum and you save it on the corner it's saved now you go back to your snap uh, snap chat snapshot snapshot capture on here you can click it every 15 minutes or you can every 14 minutes rather or every hour I left it for every hour because if you put it on 14, it will moderate, it'll tell you, it's moderate the battery. Uh, so it's up to you what you want to do. I left it for, for an hour at the moment. Next one you go notification setting, which is reach notification. I kept it on because that includes your, when you send you the, if somebody on the door, is take the snap shot for who is on the door and let you know that somebody is on the door. So I leave that on. Application tone, this is up to you, whatever you want to do it. You want to do cracking, you know, at the moment is a Halloween, so you can put howl or ghost or whatever, or you, you know. But for me, because I'm old fashioned, so I like it on antique ding dong. And also the motion, you can choose whatever, you like bat, howl, ghost, whatever. But uh, I left it on Navy because I've been from 
naval background, so I just leave it on navy. I don't know, it doesn't work that way, but. And also linked chime. Now this one, if you got a chime, you can connect it to your plug point. And so if, it's like basically calling bell. So if somebody ring the bell, it will ring wherever you are if you don't want to hear directly from your phone in case. It's very, sometimes it's not that loud, it's complete, you know, sometimes very confusing. So if you have a chime fitted, it will better. If you want to put a chime, it depends on your house size. I would advise could have chime pro. As I said, they don't tell me to do that. It's just my opinion because what it does, it will actually boost. So like if I had a chime, I bought a chime, but it didn't work on mine. So instead of buying a chime pro, I put a extender uh, and then it works on me at the moment. So I'm happy with it. I didn't put a chime on it. So it's up to you if you want to put it on. And then you go to ring edge setting on here. If you got a whole system set up, you could go on to that. Now let's get out for me on the set general setting. It's actually asking you, you want to change your name of the device and location. If you want to check it, if you want to edit it, that sort of thing. Uh, on then you go out, you go out for which one we should do. We should look mode setting. This is because it's if you want to disarm it or you want when you're at home. So as soon as you put it home, what, which one you want them to be alert. So the front door at the back, I put both of them is on. Um, if it's away, obviously both of them on as well. And then if I'm disarmed, I only keep the front door, obviously that's used as your calling bell. So there you go, so system that self-explanatory. I don't have to keep going on that. There's a geoforce you can set up all your radius of the where. What actually this one does that if you come into area, as soon as you go out, if you forgot to put it on uh, alert, it'll alert you that you haven't put that on to the, um, you didn't alarm the house. Or as soon as you come into the area, it will welcome you that you're back. It will know that you are back. It's a smart way of doing it. Uh, you can play with it. And also you can actually, um, what sort of reminder it will do. Uh, there's another one in here, so quick one is auto snooze on arrival. I put it on for 15 minutes because as soon as you come in, you got the, you know, like shopping in or whatever you're doing or go in the backyard. So if you put that on, you like, within 15 minutes, you can do all this thing. But if you don't, it'll be like ping, 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 keep giving you a notification, run you mad. So I leave that for 15 minutes. Then come out from that, link devices. At the moment, my one is that. I put it on, as you can see on here, I just put it on for back door. What actually it does, somebody ring and that will start recording. It's just up to you what you want to do because I don't mind because it's got a powered, so it, it can record no problem. It'll take more space. Now we go back to where we're gonna go. Power setting, you want to go power setting, but you know, as I said, on mine, as you can see, it's all, um, said all green, because what actually I put it on all what is recommended setting so that my battery doesn't run out so quickly. If you connect it to your uh, electric kind of, you know, wired connection, if, as I said on my other video, you can put it on connected, then you can do, take the maximum uh, if you want. And also, 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 as you go shared access in here, on here, as you can see, I been, Moni got my, uh, also got access. At the moment, she doesn't have the front door. So here you go, because it's been on. Now put it on and now she got the access. It's not that she didn't have it. She had it before because we take it off. So she didn't have it. So you save it, you get out of that. There you go. Now she got it. You can add more user if you like. And now go to even history. In here, you can see all your history. You want to delete all, you can delete whichever you want to delete it. You can download it and everything you can do. And here now you go, smart response is one thing, uh, it will reply. As soon as somebody come on the door, it will enable feature. What happened is somebody come on the door, it will tell that uh, if somebody come in, 
uh, you know uh, what you want me to do, want them to do. So quick reply, you can set up the quick reply. So I put it on because it takes me to go down there for a long time. So I said, hi, please wait. It may take me a moment to answer. So people wait at the door. So it doesn't, they don't get, you know, think that nobody at home. And after that, these are the main thing. These are the main thing you need to know. Uh, one, before I go motion snooze, you can do it like two hour, an hour, I put it on 30 minutes. So like the front door will snooze, for, you know, every, doesn't go every, uh, so everybody notify you every time it goes. So every 30 minutes, fine. Okay, then you go motion setting. Here you go. The motion setting in here is got few setting in here. Is one is motion sensitivity. You can put it, you know, high, low, back. You know how quickly you want to re pick it up. So I leave it on that, like seventy-five percent. Uh, smart notification. It will start. It will let you focus on the event. If you put that on, what happens is it slow down because it will try to capture and then to let you know so it takes time so i leave it as it is i'm not enabling it advanced setting in here is set advanced motion detection i put it on, on so what it does that if people come in it will automatically start picking up as soon as it comes into the uh in, into the area it will start picking up so there you go on that and the motion schedule i put it on every day uh, front door, uh, so like for me, 11 o'clock till 7 o'clock. For me, it's up to you, whichever you, way you want. And then you got frequency. You can put it on regularly, frequently, or periodically. I put it on for regularly, which is motion detection takes short break after each motion notification, which is medium battery life. You can put it on periodically, which is motion detection takes a longer break after each motion notification, which is maximize your battery life. But I leave it on the say, regular, frequently it will just keep, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, now the fun part. Now you go to that top, which is the edit motion zone. In here, you turn, you click on the frame, it'll give you eight point. Uh, so I normally set it up as this one here. I quickly do it as soon as possible because I don't have time all the time. I'm sure you guys are gonna be angry with me. Uh, go because yes. you don't want too much because you know that's where it's come. People complain that you know you're recording people's privacy and all these things. So that's my side portion. Uh, you name whatever you want to name it. In here is a default zone. Is uh, done. Now you want a second one because you want add a zone because that only did the bit in here. I go further down because I don't want the neighbor's uh, property. So sometimes it's better if you do on actually on iPad instead of a. Uh, mobile because it will give you more so I just leave it to my door all the way in here I go down because you don't want people's business you want only people go in any area that's your concern that's the bit you need to cover it so that's your property uh, up to your door if somebody come in that area that's all you need so there you go uh, there you go a bit more so now you give the zone the name done done and you can have another zone which I do because I want to save my car my Normandy so my Normandy I put it normally because I normally park exactly the same point so I know where exactly points you're gonna go oh it turned down too long uh, if I'm taking too much time, please bear with me and because the main part that I need to show you because that is the one are really, really running since I heard that is really and I actually tweeted so that the people are saying 
and I already tweeted about it. So there you go, and you can name whatever that. Then done. So that's your save. You save it, that's your zone, everything is motion set up. You come out of it. Now, go back to that device setting. When you go device setting, as you say in the middle, it said privacy. On that, you, on that it said audio streaming and recording. You leave that on. That is the option you have to put it on. You go on the privacy zone. This, this is the bit actually will save you a lot because you click that, what it does, if you click that, it, you can only put two. That's the only thing, you can put only two. Um, what I have done is add, I put here one of these, so it doesn't actually, uh, because I want my card to be saved. So there you go, that's your privacy zone, done. And then I put another one, which is go there. There. So, because remember, I put it down on the bottom. So this is the bit you don't want. You don't need anybody to know anybody else's business. So that's the bit you don't want it. It's done. You save it. Now, if you can't try to put another one, it will tell you that is the maximum. So there you go. You've done it. You come out. So, my friend, once you've done that, that's your privacy zone. So what happened is, if somebody, your neighbors come up and say, look, you put a video drawable for your production, that's fine. But I don't want you to touch my, you know, see what I'm going on and, you know, it says go away without telling you, get the lawyer up or solicitor or attorney, whatever, wherever you are. All you have to just show, look, I got that, I haven't got any video. Even when he's done the video, you can show them, look, it didn't go to that setting. So that will save you a ton of problem. So these are the things that mainly that you need to know on the um, this doorbell. That's your doorbell is now set. Now you can play with it, all different settings. You can go and check if anybody on the door. Uh, so that's all you've done. You now, so now hopefully that's all you need to know anyway. So my friend, that's that. Hope you enjoy the ride and learn how to set up your very first ring video doorbell second generation. You probably will be able to do much more if you get the Ring Video Doorbell 3, the Pro and the rest. Once you know, uh, once you know and uh, what to do, once you know one of them what to do, you will be able to set up any other version in it in ease. As you probably noticed that I also got a Ring Indoor Video Camera, which I will do a review uh, as soon as I can and a quick tutorial to share with you soon so as before stay tuned as always please subscribe my channel if you haven't already hit the like button or smash it in 2021 style if that is something you prefer don't forget to ring the bell icon so when I will you will be notified automatically when I upload my next video share the contents to your friends and the family or those who might like to get one like this, but not sure. And let me know, as I said, if you have any question about this product in the comment section below, let me know if you notice anything that might help me to improve my contents as well as my channel. I read all your comments and answer regularly. Uh, you can also find me in various media and via my website, which you will find all the links in the description below. I would like to thank you again that take the opportunity. Without your help, I wouldn't be in here. So thanks for your support by subscribing my channel as that makes a huge difference to me and my channel. So please look after yourself and each other and stay safe. Remember, life is short, so live long and prosper. May Allah Ta'ala bless you all with the, all the happiness, joy, prosperity, stability and a long healthy life. And I will see you in my next one. Allah Hafiz. We can put it on periodic, which is periodically, the, 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 periodically. Close you, off. Yeah, do you know what we have done? We haven't connected the, hmm. the ring.
<laughs> now we have to connect that thing. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs>